Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about my experience on how I was able to switch my job as an SRE or Site Reliability Engineer with almost 50% salary hike. If you've watched my uh, previous videos, uh, I've spoken about uh, how to get your first DevOps job, what are the tools and technologies you should learn, in what proportion you should learn those tools, also uh, how much time you need to spend learning each tool and so on, right? So let me just give you some details on how SRE is slightly different, but still very much related to a DevOps role. Okay, so uh, a DevOps engineer will be more working at the time of initial development of the application. So he or she will be collaborating a lot with the development teams uh, to help get their applications up and running into various different environments. When I talk about uh, these, these different uh, environments, I'm talking about development, QA or production. Okay, so while doing all this, if developers stuck uh, uh, stuck somewhere, mostly in terms of infrastructure issues, then the developers are going to reach out to the DevOps team. Okay, to help their issues sorted. Now, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is what happens in most of the organizations. Okay, so this is not like uh, the uh, standard for each organization, but I mean, mostly you will see uh, these type of uh, uh, setups that uh, that have in a lot of different organizations that are using DevOps practices. Okay, now, and SRE's work, um, it mostly revolves around keeping the production applications up and running. So you would see that uh, the SRDs will have more expertise around proactive monitoring, alerting, or troubleshooting the issues. Hence, we can say that most important tools for an SRE will be monitoring tools. Okay, uh, so currently, if you see, there are many uh, uh, tools available in the market which are really popular in terms of monitoring. So if I talk about a few in this video, I would say a Grafana Loki or Sumo Logic, which is used for log aggregation. Okay, and for log visualization, you would see uh, a Datadog or Prometheus, which are really popular. Okay, but uh, as I mentioned, there are many other tools available in the market and uh, which are being used by uh, you know other, other companies as well. But I just wanted to give you a very high level information on some of the popular tools available in the market, okay? So uh, if I talk about the infrastructure of, uh, I mean, monitoring, or you can say the different components of a monitoring infrastructure. So I'm going to cover that in a separate video. I don't want to talk about that because it's going to be, uh, I mean, uh, there are going to be uh, uh, a lot of details around that. So I'm going to cover that in a separate video. Okay, so in this video, I just want to keep the focus on how you can land your first SRE job role. Okay, so um, so uh, the one thing I want to talk about is I'm not saying that you should only focus on the mounting tools. Okay, but all I'm saying is your main expertise or your deep expertise should be on one of the mounting tools. Apart from that, you still need to learn the other DevOps tools and technologies and methods and and everything that you have. Uh, learned so far, uh, you know, uh, so I'm, I'm talking about Docker or Kubernetes or Jenkins, CI, CD, Ansible, okay, and then scripting and everything. You should know all that for sure. But what, all I'm saying is when you appear for a job, uh, I mean, when you appear for an SRE interview, uh, then the, the uh, I mean, questions will be revolving around your, uh, this uh, mounting tool expertise. Okay, so I've I've made an some list. Uh, I mean, I, I've uh, made a list of questions that are um, I mean uh, uh, most likely to be asked in in an SRE uh, interview. So, for example, you should know uh, how to query your logs. Okay, and uh, then I, if I talk about other questions, then how to set your alerts for a particular type of log, how to how to create alerts for a particular type of thresholds. Also, you should know how to create the different dashboards. So once again, uh, I mean, dashboarding is again uh, a very big topic and, and, and you can have so many different dashboards for your applications and infrastructure. 
but if i talk about some standard uh, dashboards that i'm talking about the cpu utilization of your infrastructure and applications the memory utilization the disk utilization okay requests per minute for a particular application so you should know how to set a dashboard for uh, these type of uh uh these uh these type of parameters okay so you should know that also you should have really good uh, troubleshooting skills okay uh, especially for the containerized applications or we can say that i'm talking about the pod based applications deployed in a kubernetes cluster so you should know uh, i mean how to troubleshoot those issues especially the known errors that you know that appear uh within within a kubernetes cluster for your applications okay like uh a crash loop back off okay uh then you have uh, uh image pull error and so on so there are other others as well but i just wanted to give you uh, this information that you should know how to troubleshoot the standard trouble uh, these the standard kubernetes issues for sure okay also uh this one question that was asked a lot in these interviews was uh, uh what is the toughest uh, challenge uh, uh, that you have faced as an sre so you can say that what is the toughest uh, issue that you have faced and what was the impact of that issue and how did you overcome it so you should be really prepared for uh, uh, these type of questions for an sre role okay also uh, there are i mean so you have to appear for a lot of interviews i mean uh, because it, it it is possible that you appear for one or two companies and you did not get the interview so don't get disheartened okay because this field is really vast and uh, i mean it is it is possible that you may fail as well but you should keep your hopes alive and you should just you know keep on trying until you succeed so this is what i also did because i also failed a few interviews okay frankly speaking because as i mentioned this is uh, i mean a very vast field and uh, there are a lot of different things and components an interview can ask from anywhere so i mean whatever interviews no uh, i mean whatever interview knows you should know that stuff only then you will be able to clear the interview it, it doesn't matter how much you know if you don't know the things that interviewer knows okay so uh, i mean you have to try a lot you have to uh, try appearing for uh, different interviews in different companies and if you are prepared really well i mean you would be able to clear the interview uh, at least once okay and uh, i mean you will be able to get here uh, get the job okay so yeah, that's all i wanted to cover in this video i'm going to come up with some other videos as well i'm also going to prepare one video where i'm going to talk about all the questions that were asked in the sr interview from me so i'm going to uh, i'm going to come up with with one video uh, just for that i hope you liked it if you did please uh, hit that like button share my video with others who i mean wants to i mean get into the devops or sr uh, job roles and yeah i'm going to see you in the next one all right guys bye for now